which makes it really soft lighting. It's the flattest soft box in the world. Look at how big this is. Look at that, wow. How cool is that? Okay, today we are talking about flat LED light panels. Now I did a video a year ago on small pocket size battery powered LED lights. I'll put a link down below for that. But today we are talking about flat LED panels. I love these things. They're like mini soft boxes. They're really, really flat lighting. They're battery powered, portable, small, bicolor, lightweight, all the things that I love. You could do like small objects on a table. It's a great light to grab if you're in a hurry and you just want to light something up real quick without setting up a big light box. If you want to do a face, I suggest using two of them, one on each side, something like that. They all come with a cold shoe mount. You can mount them on a camera. If you're just walking around like a news gathering person, you can just have a light on top. That's what they do with Channel 3 News, goes out and does interviews. They're not very bright though, so you can't really use them in sunlight. They're good for indoors. What I like to do is mount one on each side of the camera, so I have a nice flat, even fill light for when I'm doing food shots or just walking around following somebody. It makes sure there's always some light in the center of the image. So I use these as little supplemental fill lights. You can hold one under a face to fill in and soften harsh shadows. They're great for streaming or doing Zoom calls when you're in a hotel room. Because they're so small and flat, they're really portable. You can take them with you wherever you go. And if you're using a couple of the 12 or 18 inch ones, you can get some pretty decent portrait lighting. I'm gonna go from the smallest to the really big ones. So we're gonna go through all kinds of ones here. But as far as the general light level goes, to compare it with something that we all know lately, <laughs> Let's take this little thing here, what everybody's talking about. Everybody's talking about this. It's really, really bright. Now, when you put the diffusion dome on the front, that's how bright these things are. Almost all of these are about the same light level as this thing with the diffusion dome on the front. And so the, I'm gonna show you what the light spread pattern is when they're on a wall. I figure most of these things are going to be handheld around arm's length, which is about, so I measured at 32 inches and the light meter set at ISO 800 because these aren't really that bright at 1 60th of a second. Let's use this as a reference point. 32 inches, ISO 800, 1 60th. This is the light reading of five and a half. So let's start with the little tiny ones here. This is one that I've had for many, many years. I really like it. It's only tw $24. It's a Tolifo PT. 15B. You can just put a little uh, NP battery in the back, turn it on, and you'll notice there's a uh, readout in the back tells you the color temperature and the brightness of the light. Uh, these are all bi-colored and they're really cool. I mean, this thing is, uh, I love this. The light reading on this would be 2.89. So if this is a five and a half, this is a 2.89. This is one I've had for many. I got a couple of these. I really like these. This is by Loom Cube. It's a it's, it's a nice sized one. It's a little bigger than a credit card. It has an on switch on here and it tells you the light level reading and the color temperature reading. It charges with a USB. It's got a built-in battery, which I really like. <clears throat> it comes with a uh, silicone diffuser, which goes over the front, which makes it really soft lighting, really nice quality lighting. And it has a quarter 20 thread on the bottom. It's not that bright though. It's a 2.09 with the diffuser and a 2.89 with it when it's bare. So anyway, there's that one. Now this one here is brighter. If this is a 2.09 with a diffuser, this one is four. This is a Pixel G2A. This one's $120. Uh, this one is only $50. And this is a same thing. It's got a built-in battery, charge it with USB. It's got the, the readout and everything. Uh, this is only $50, 4,000 milliamp hours, got a built-in battery, Pixel G2A. Uh, this one here is also the same light level as this. This is by Enagon, but this is only $43. It is bi-color, and it has a diffusion which you can take off. Now, I don't know why they come with these. It has these, these color, uh, you can make it even more blue and more orange which I don't know why they have this because this already is bicolor. So you make it like totally blue or totally orange, I guess. But anyway, so this has got the diffuser that goes on here. This is only $43 by Enagon. This one here, moving on. This is the uh, <coughs> Jiyun. Now, I don't hate Jiyun. I know people think I do. I don't. I love their packaging, the way they make things. They look really cool looking products. It's just when the whole internet is saying it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, you know I'm gonna say, oh, well, let me point out some things about this that most people are not talking about. That's all I'm doing is like, you know, there's always downsides to something and if I have to be the only one to point that out, then I guess I'm the bad guy. But anyway, I love this thing. This is, this is really, really bright as far as all these go. This is one of the brightest ones that you can get for pocket size flat LED panels. 
It's a Zhiyun Fuvere M40. It's 40 watts, obviously, 14,000 lux. CRI is 96. It goes from 26, 2700 to 6200 built-in battery, which I like. So that's something they got right. They have a nice little swivel thing here, so you can actually set it up like that. And it's got the color and the, the lightness on here. So something that I like about this versus this is this has a built-in battery and uh, it's, it's totally self-contained. This one, you got to get an external uh, battery with a cord and everything. I hate that about this. But uh, this one here is wonderful. I love this. This is a Zhiyun I love. So, okay, so I really, really like this Zhiyun product. Thumbs up by Marcus for Zhiyun here. 40 watts, really bright. This is an eight. Moving on to Amaran here, look at this tiny little thing. It's smaller than a credit card, really, really small, really simple to use. It's got an on-off switch on here. You turn it on and you can put it on a hot shoe. This comes off or you can just stick this on a wall. You have multiple ones to light up little areas. Uh, this is an Amaran ALM9. It's uh, $29, really, really cheap. Uh, the light reading is only 2.81. Full power, it goes for one and a half hours. So if you just need a little tiny bit of light, then I guess you could use this. But this is very, it's very small and it's not very bright. So it's the Amaran, but it's so cute. It's really small. All right, moving on to this one here. This is a Yongnuo YN300. I got two of them here. It comes with a handle. I thought I'd show you it's got a handle that you can hold like this. You can bend these, it bends like that. And if you take the handle off, then you have this. It's a cold shoe. It has an NP battery that goes on the back here. You just turn it on by pushing that button and you turn it and it's bicolor. It's $55. You can see the actual lights in there coming through and that's, you know, it's kind of weak diffusion on there. But this one here, when you put the light in here the, and you turn this one on, it's got an on off switch. You turn it on. This does not have any actual, I mean, you see little tiny LEDs, but it's a lot flatter lighting than this one is. This is a Viltrox L116T, uh, same light reading as this, 2.87, but it's only $35. The CRI is 95, is bicolor, quarter 20 thread or hot shoe. I like it. Portable, small, lightweight, cool, fun. Moving on, here these two are exact same ones, different companies, but they just put a different label on there. This is internal batteries, don't have to use NP batteries, the battery's built in. Uh, on off switch, really easy to use. Look how flat that lighting is. There is no hot spots at all. You don't see any LEDs poking through. This is perfectly flat lighting. I love this. It's bicolor. There's two kinds here. The newer one is $58. The Relino version is uh, $55. So they're about the same. 4,000 milliamp hours. It runs for one and a half hours, uh, full, full uh, power. Um, and, and the light reading is four. It's a four, 4.02 or something like that. Now this 12 inch is an eight. That's two stops brighter and it's half the cost. If you don't need a battery, here's a really cheap 12 inch one. It's only 23 bucks on AliExpress. It weighs nothing. It's super, super light. And the on off switch is on the cord here. It comes with a remote, which has presets for color temperature. You can do 3000, 4500, 6500 or you can manually go in between any of those up or down in, in lightness and in color temperature and it's really really bright this thing is a light reading of eight which is brighter than this thing at full power with the dome on it this is 566 this is eight and it's so look how soft that is you don't see any lights poking through really really soft light it's 12 inches only 23 bucks on AliExpress. I, lo I love this thing. And it comes with a ball head. <laughs> on top of everything else, it's got a ball head. So it's got a ball head, it's got a remote, and it's soft, and it's 23 bucks. Okay, so this one here is an Itotin LDP600. Has nice round corners. <laughs> this is an eight. So this is the same light level as this. And, and the only thing, other thing I, I, I don't like pointing out things I don't like about Jiyun, but you can see the LEDs through there. It's not, it's not white like this. That's something about that. So there, I did point something out bad about the Jiyun. Anyway, uh, this one here takes two NP batteries. It's an Itotin LD P600. <clears throat> it's $90, so that's not a bad price. It goes from 3200 to 7500 by color, 45 watts. It has eight different effects for LED, LE, you know, you can do flashy lights with it. You can do 15 volts, which is the same voltage as a, a V-mount D-tap battery, which is cool. So you can do, you can do wall power, V-mount, or two NP batteries. Nice softbox, mini softbox size thing. $90, the Itotin LD P600. All right, now these two are kind of similar. 
One's by Neewer, one's by Raylino. Super flat lighting, no hot spots, no LEDs showing through. And the re remote can be taken remotely. I don't, I, I don't use remotes ever. So this is kind of like a hassle for me. Uh, so anyway, it comes with a remote. And uh, so this is the, uh, Re what is this? This is the Raylino. Uh, 18 inch, 18 inches this way. The Raylino is $85. The newer version is 110. This also comes with a remote, but it's not depending on the remote. Now, why is this one 110 and this one's 85? Well, this one, the newer comes with a really nice carry case. Ooh. And it also comes with this. It comes with a clamp that you can clamp to a table. And then you can put this on here and it goes up like that, which is kind of cool. So you can clamp it to a table, comes with it. So, you know, for 20 bucks more, you get the carry case and the clamp, which is kind of cool. It's got one button you push in the middle and it releases both of the batteries at the same time. That is really cool. The light level output of these is 5.69, 5.68. So it's the same light output level as this thing with the, uh, uh, the diffuser on it, but this only has one little ray of light that comes out the front tip of it. This has a whole flat surface. So for flat lighting, this is much more preferable for lighting up a face for soft lighting. Much, much more preferable than this. This is for lighting up a room. This is for lighting up a face. Moving on to bigger ones here. Here we have a Photo Diox round one. It's an 18 inch uh, round one, 5.69, same output level as the two I just showed you. $310, 778 lux, uh, CRI is 93, two NP batteries, or you can have a V-mount battery. You can see you change the color on here. That's super flat lighting. Now we're talking softbox territory. This is an 18 inch softbox basic. Look how nice and flat that is. That is so, so nice. Uh, $310, not bad. It's kind of, it's kind of heavy. I mean, it's pretty, yeah, it's got some weight to it. But look at the lighting. Look how nice that is. Now, the big brother of this thing is the Studio XL. This thing weighs as much as a Volkswagen. It is super, super heavy. This needs two V-mount batteries or wall power. It's 32 inches across. So this is really a 32-inch softbox. It is full-size softbox. It's $1,000. I don't think they even make this one anymore because it's just too big and bulky and heavy. I would rather use a real softbox than this because it's just too heavy. Uh, and it costs a thousand dollars. So it's really, really expensive. So let's move on to this one here. Now this one here, this is one of my favorites here. This is a little tiny eight by eight inch, uh, basic square LED panel grid. This runs on two NP batteries. I have a dozen of these things. You just dial in the, the light level you want. You know how everybody's talking about how bright this thing is? how super bright this is, and it is really bright with the reflector. If I aim this right at your eyes, it's 22. This one is a 16, so it's only one stop less than this thing aiming right in your eyes, and that is a pretty amazing light output. That comes with a white frosted plastic that goes on the front. Now when you do that, the light level goes down to eight, and that's brighter than this diffuse with the diffuser on. This is five and a half with the dome on it. This is eight with the diffuser on. It also comes with a soft box that goes on the front. It's still, it's also an eight light level output. So I would just use the plastic and it also comes with barn doors. Really easy to use. They're portable. You can just take it with you. It's battery powered. So here, look, look, look at that. Battery powered, no cords. It does come with a cord so you can plug it in the wall if you want, but uh, there you go. This one here is the brightest one of all. This thing will blow your mind. Aiming right in your eyes, this is a 22 with the bare reflector. This thing is 32 and a half. This is blinding. This is a Lupo Super Panel from the country of exotic supercars. This is the exotic supercar of panel lights. This is pretty darn amazing. It has, uh, it has daylight by color. They're a thousand dollars each. Uh, you can, right now I have a V mount on the uh, mount on the back here. You can also, you see these screws here? You can unscrew this and you can screw on 110 volt wall power if you want that. So uh, Lupo Super Panel, $1,000. Uh, this thing is pretty, really, really bright. Now, I've got something, here's an added bonus here. This wouldn't be a Marcus video without something like this. <laughs> 
I got something much bigger and much, much cheaper. What did I get? I got this. Two feet by two feet, flat, like totally flat, just like these. Look at that, flat. This is a ceiling mount LED light that goes in office buildings, you know, where you put it up in the ceiling to replace the fluorescent lights. I got a set of two for $60. That means this thing, which is two feet by two feet, 40 watts is only $30. It's, it's really flimsy metal in the back. So what I did is, first thing I did was I glued a, a aluminum rod on the back of this one, but the metal kind of dents in a bit and it's, it's kind of, I, I, I don't want to uh, work with that. So what I did is I got a piece of, uh, I glued a flat piece of foam core to keep the back from flexing. And I just glued a rod onto that. Let's open this up real fast. This is so easy to do. There's four wires in here. Well, five, if you count the green for the ground. But there's black and white and these, this pink and purple. The black and white, this is your AC. And if you wanna make this dimmable, you get a low voltage, zero to 10 volt dimmer. And then all you do is you, these two wires go on these two wires. And now you have a dimmer. So you got, so you can dim these things. That's what I did here. So I got the electric cord coming out and I put the dimmer here and plug it in. Now watch this, I turn this, it goes click and it comes on and it's dimmable. Look at that, totally dimmable. How cool is that? 5,000 K color temperature. I don't know what the CRI is, but you got a two by two foot light panel, nice and flat. It's dimmable, homemade, lightweight. Look at this, how cool is that? This is a two by two foot for $30. <laughs> you know me, I don't stop there. I want the biggest, flattest light panel softbox in the world. How is this? Two feet by four feet. Look how flat that is, talk about flat. And the lighting is absolutely perfectly flat. Look at this compared to a softbox, which has a hot spot. Look how flat the lighting is on these panels. They have these hooks on the back and all I did to mount these things was just string a wire across the top too and then hang it on a light stand. How easy is that? And look at this, it's the flattest softbox in the world. You could lay one on the ground as a fill slash bounce light so it works like an eye lighter. You could put one above and one below so you got clamshell lighting. You could have one on each side just hanging on a light stand. Look how good that looks. The possible possibilities are endless. And I don't worry about CRI between white balance and color adjusting. You can make almost anything look great. And yes, you can hook a dimmer up to these also. I got a box of four of these package deal for $250. So that's a little over $60 a piece, which makes sense if the two by two is $30, this is $60. So that's pretty darn good for a soft box with the light. Most soft boxes cost a hundred bucks. That's without the light. This is the soft box and the light for 60 bucks. Two feet by four feet. And you can have one on each side of you have super super soft lighting look at how big this is this is huge so this is a real softbox sized light so okay 60 bucks that's a, that's the same price as this one pretty cool huh but these are cute and small and everything so anyway the big ones are obviously not battery powered and real quick the brightest to the dimmest the brightest of all is the Lupo Super Panel coming in at 32.2. The 8x8 with nothing on it, just bare LEDs, is a 16. If it has the diffusion on it, it's 8.04. So this is 16, this is 8. Then the uh, 2x2 foot Home Depot panel, which is 8. The Zhiyun Fivre M40, this is an 8 also. The Itotin, this is also an 8. Then we have these two here, the Big Relino and the Niwer, 5.69. Then we get down to the Molus G60 with the dome, this is 5.66 with the dome on it. Then we get to the Anagon Bear, it's 4.07. If you put the diffuser on it, it's dim like these other ones. These two here with the built-in batteries, the Relino and the Niwer, 4.02. The Pixel G2A, this is a four. And then the rest of these are like 2.8. Real quick, here's the light pattern spread on a wall, 32 inches. Here's the Loom Cube Bear with Diffusion. Here's the Tiny MRN ALM9, Pixel G2A, a Totin LDP600, Anagon Bear and with Diffusion, Jiyun Fivere M40, Talifo PT15B, Yong Nuo YN300 Air, Viltrox L116T, the 12 inch Neewer with the built in battery, which is the same as the Relino, the cheap 12 inch AliExpress light, the 18 inch Relino with the remote control, the 18 inch Big Neewer. 288 ARC, the round photodiox 18 inch disc, the big giant studio XL, the 8x8 flat panel with diffusion, 
the Lupo Super Panel, the 2x2 Home Depot, and the 2x4 Home Depot. And just for the hell of it, here's a Molus G60 with the dome, and here's the four foot foldable shop light from Home Depot, just so you can see that. The light level on that, by the way, is 5.69, which is a little brighter than the Molus M60 with the diffusion dome on it. So there is a world out there of flat LED panel lights. I just love playing with these things, even the little ones. I don't know what to do with the little ones, but they're just so, for traveling, obviously. When you travel, you can have light in your pocket, and when you're at a restaurant or something, you could just light up your food, take food pictures or whatever it is, you know, there's all kinds of uses for these for everything. Um, there you go. NP batteries. The big ones sometimes use uh, V-mount, but uh, portable, small, lightweight, flat lighting. I love these things. <sighs> Kid in a toy store, what could I say? I, uh, I'm sharing my joy with you. Hope you got something out of this and I don't know how to end these videos. I'm not into sappiness, so I will see you in the next video. Until then, have a good time. Bye-bye. Yeah.